Hi Foxy friends, this is Sarah from Foxy Domesticide and today I am here with another Hair 101 tip in my series. Today I thought I would cover how to tease your hair. It's something very simple to do. It can give you a lot of volume for those hairstyles that you're doing and so here we go. Basically what you need to tease your hair is obviously a teasing brush. I used to use a teasing comb thinking that would be better but actually this teasing brush, life changer. This one is actually a mix between boar's bristle and nylon, um, and I cannot tell you how good this one is. I will link this one down below. I'm sure there's lots of other ones out there, but this is the one that I use. And then the other thing that you're gonna need is a can of hairspray. I like this Tresemme Extra Holds. Uh, you can use your favorite hairspray. Currently, this is my favorite hairspray. This is my second can that I've gone through since starting this hair challenge. Uh, so let's get started. So I am going to show you how I tease my hair and how I just put it half up. Usually on the first day that I wash my hair, I actually washed my hair last night. So this is fresh hair. I just curled it really quickly. And I'm gonna show you what I do to put my hair up so it's out of my face. It forces me not to put it in a ponytail because as long as my hair is off my face, I'm totally fine. So you're gonna need two bobby pins, your teasing brush, and some hairspray. So what I do is I kind of do a deep part like this, kind of brush it over like this. You're gonna to want to use your teasing brush. All right, you take a small little section here and then you're just gonna to want to back comb it like this. And then I usually will then hairspray it a little. Totally missed. <laughs> All right, and then I kind of lay it back over my hand like this and then I flip it forward. And then you want to do the next smallest little section. It's like you just want to take really teeny tiny thin sections and you want to tease this and then you want to spray it. And then I kind of wrap it around my arm like this and wait for it to dry. I'm going to do it one more time. I usually do it three or four times. Again, you take the small little section like this, you tease it, and then you spray it. Sometimes when I'm feeling really, really lazy, I don't spray it, but this makes it stay throughout the day. So, you can kind of see I have extra floof in my hair like this. Um, so now I'm gonna kind of gently kind of, I don't wanna take the teasing out, and then I'm gonna gather it up here like this, like this, and then I'm going to, okay, that doesn't look good. So if you don't like the way it looks, sometimes you've teased it too much in some spots, so it doesn't look like I've teased it enough right here, so I'm just gonna tease it a little bit. There we go. I wanna kind of brush it over, you can see all my gray hair is forming. So it's smooth. I wanna gather it like this, and then you pin it with a bobby pin. I will link down below my tips on how to use a bobby pin. Remember you want ridge side down when you do this, and then I crisscross it just like that. And this is pretty much how I wear my hair to work. This is just how I do it. So this is how, this is crazy right here. So you just wanna take a brush or your fingers and kind of comb it through like this. So you kind of just comb it through. And you see how this is kind of a little on the crazy side? Well, actually my fingers kind of, see how your fingers just comb through it like this? And now it looks okay. So this is how I do my hair on a daily basis. I sometimes will spray it, just so it stays. And sometimes I'll go back over after I've even hairsprayed and I'll kind of just smooth it all out just a little bit if it's kind of a little on the crazy side. So it looks a little bit better. And this is what it looks like in the back, in case you wanted to see. There you go, that's how you tease your hair. You can use teasing your hair for all sorts of base parts for any kind of ponytail or um, hairstyle, but this is the kind of what I do to tease my hair to get it in that little poof in the front. Instead of, I know that before I started teasing my hair, I would try and get this and I would like push it back and force my hair to do it, but my hair is so straight that I would just kind of flop down. But this way, it stays like this all day. All right, 
And that's how you teach your hair. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, Foxy friends. This is Sarah from